Let there be light. It is dark. Now, when I turn on the switches, light fills the room and I can see what is around me. Now, we know that light is a form of energy and we can demonstrate this by shining light on a Crookes radiometer and by seeing the veins spin. We also know that when photons reflect off a surface, they transfer some of their momentum to that surface. For example, on a sunny day, the city of Chicago weighs about 300 pounds more only because sunlight is falling on it, pushing it. So technically, you weigh more when the lights are on than when the lights are off. We are naturally attracted to light. I'm pretty sure that all of us can agree that it's nicer to be sitting in front of a fire than to be out in the dark, which we often associate with danger. But besides cozy fires, what else do we like in our lives? Color. Okay, so we're here in the Tralee Rose Garden, which appropriately is full of different types of roses and colors. It's a very picturesque place. But what gives things their color? This rose is pink. We know that white light is made up of the entire spectrum of color. So what's happening here is, the rose is absorbing every single color except for the pink wavelength. Whereas my jumper is absorbing every single color except for the navy wavelength. Matt, thank you for hijacking my video. You just explained to us what gives things their color. But explain reflection to me. Well, light from a light source hits our bodies by the means of diffuse reflection, which is the scattering of light upon hitting a rough surface. But then, that light that is reflected from our bodies hits a mirror, which then reflects back the light into our eyes by the means of regular reflection. But upon that reflection, it's actually absorbing about 4% of that light, giving a mirror a slightly green shade to it. you tell me, is light at a constant speed? Well, this is a tricky one. People always say that light changes speed when going from one medium into another, but the photons of light don't actually change speed. It's just that they're taking a longer path through the medium they're traveling through. And yeah. Without light, there would most likely be no life on earth. From the old stories to the new discoveries, light is truly timeless.